In this example, we will study more sample sets with subdivisions. In Part A, a committee of five people is to be formed from a selection pool of 12 people. If Carmen must be on the committee, how many unique committees can be formed? Begin with a sample set of 12 people. Restructure the sample set to separate the people who must be on the committee from the others. Only one person, Carmen, must be on the committee. The rest of the people are in the general selection pool. Now we'll make our selections for the committee. Carmen must be on the committee, and she can be selected in one choose one equals one way. Four more people can be selected for the committee in 11 choose 4 equals 330 ways. There are 1 choose 1 times 11 choose 4 equals 330 ways to form the five-person committee. Note that this is a single-case combination because we do not restock and redraw from the sample set. In Part B, a committee of six people is to be formed from a selection pool of 11 people. If Grant and Helen must be on the committee, but Aaron must not be on the committee, how many unique committees can be formed? Begin with a sample set of 11 people. Restructure the sample set to separate the constraints. Grant and Helen must be on the committee. Aaron must not be on the committee. And everyone else remains in the general selection pool. Now we'll make our selections for the committee. Grant and Helen must be on the committee, and they can be selected in two choose two equals one way. Four additional people can be selected in eight choose four equals seventy ways. There are two choose two times eight choose four equals seventy ways to form the six person committee. Note that this is a single case combination because we do not restock and redraw from the sample set. In Part C, nine students are split into three equal sized groups to work on a collaborative assignment. How many ways can this be done? Begin with a sample set of nine people. We are going to create three groups, each with three people. The first group can be selected in 9 choose 3 equals 84 ways. The second group can be selected in 6 choose 3 equals 20 ways. And the third group can be selected in 3 choose 3 equals 1 way. There are 9 choose 3 times 6 choose 3 times 3 choose 3 equals 1,680 ways to form the three groups. No constraints were placed on the selections, so there was no need to subdivide the sample set. Note that this is a single case combination because we do not restock and redraw from the sample set. Now we'll move on to Part D. 
From a deck of 52 cards, a 5 card hand is dealt. How many distinct 5 card hands are there if the Ace of Spades and 2 of Diamonds must be in the hand? The 52 cards in a standard deck are shown. Separate the cards that must be included from the rest of the cards. The two cards that must be included can be selected in two choose two equals one way. Now select three other cards in 50 choose three equals 19,600 ways. We can select the five cards in 2 choose 2 times 50 choose 3 equals 19,600 ways. Note that this is a single case combination because we do not restock and redraw from the sample set. In part E, a lottery ticket has six numbers from 1 to 49. Duplicate numbers are not allowed, and the order of the numbers does not matter. How many different lottery tickets contain the numbers 12, 24, and 48, but exclude the numbers 30 and 40? List the available numbers. Restructure the sample set to separate the constraints. Twelve, twenty-four, and forty-eight must be on the ticket. Thirty and forty must not be on the ticket. The rest of the numbers can go in the general selection pool. Now we'll make our selections for the lottery ticket. 12, 24, and 48 must be on the lottery ticket, and they can be selected in 3 choose 3 equals 1 way. Select 3 other numbers in 44 choose 3 equals 13,244 ways. There are 3 choose 3 times 44 choose 3 equals 13,244 ways to select numbers for the lottery ticket with the given constraints. Note that this is a single case combination because we do not restock and redraw from the sample set.